Star Citizen Alpha 3.10.2 is out on the PTU, so the test servers at the moment. It is open PTU, it is open to everyone, and basically they're trying to deal with a major or critical issue from the 3.10 branch, as well as doing a few little other bug fixes more generally there as well. In regard to the testing focus and the critical issues with ships not being copied to the long-term persistence database, Cloud Imperium have said with this test patch that, that we have turned off pledge copy, so players will only start with the Aurora ES and a Grey Cat Rock. We have given all PTU accounts 15 million Alpha UEC to purchase ships from the game shops to test a fix to ships persisting in long-term persistence. If you had a previous PTU account, you will start with your old ships, Alpha UEC and items. Please recopy though to get a fresh one so that you can get Alpha UEC for testing. Please spawn in a location that sells ships, Area 18 or Lawville, and purchase as many ships as you can with this as we will be doing random database resets throughout this PTU cycle to test persistence of these ships. We would also like players to test character resets after using the ships for a while to make sure they are not removed. So being able to actually buy ships in game would be most useful again and needs to be fixed ASAP. So get involved with that. Obviously it is a PTU, open PTU test, so not on the live servers at the moment, but get involved with that testing if you can. Beyond that, they want players to spread out and test different areas and gameplay to make sure that the other new fixes have taken. So what are these new fixes in this patch? Ships purchased in-game should now be saved correctly to the long-term persistence database. Ships should no longer spawn in a flight-ready state when a player logs back into the ship's bed. They fixed an issue that allowed players to sell one SCU of cargo indefinitely when it is placed in a ship that is within another ship. Now, this is one of the major exploits that was being used more recently. Potentially something that may have damaged and broken some of the server uh, and backend stuff is what it's been sort of rumored. So I'm glad that is now uh, fixed. IFCS should no longer lower ship velocity while using a HOTAS when a player uses interaction mode or opens their Moby Glass. Now, that fix is actually amazing for HOTAS users. I hadn't really realized that when I first read through the patch notes because I don't use a HOTAS at the moment for the most part. I typically use a mouse and keyboard at the moment because of the way I record and it's just easier for me to switch around and do cameras and, and things like that and test lots of different things. But with a HOTAS, you'll notice that that is a massive improvement. Uh, derelict recovery missions that take place around Microtech should no longer send the user to deliver the box to Area 18. Character eyes should no longer appear large in certain goggles in the universe. I actually thought that was intentional. I thought that was sort of like weird distortion or something. They also fixed one client crash, three server crashes, a memory leak, and a GPU memory usage issue. So a lot of that should mean a lot more stability for people that were suffering those crashes, memory leaks, and, and that sort of stuff. That is uh, an actual absolute godsend. The known issues list has shrunk somewhat as well, which is good. And I'd expect that Cloud Imperium are trying to get this patch out ASAP probably for this weekend, but we'll have to wait and see. I would like to know if these point .xx patches or whatever take away time from the other major releases though, trying to triage and bug fix, and how big is the team that typically deals with this patch triage and patch fixing and those issues? Does it vary? Is it dynamic? Or is it very much sort of like a dedicated team? Small dedicated team, great! I think they should always be working on bug fixes, uh, if, if that's the case. Uh, but if it prevents work on 3.11, 3.12, I sort of like to know, uh, just out of curiosity at the very least. But what do you think? Are you playing 3.10.2 on the PTU? What are your experiences? Have you been hit with any of the major issues in the 3.10 branch? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Every month we have a ship giveaway for August. It's for a Mercury Star Runner, the sort of hybrid data running cargo ship that's supposed to be live and flyable in Alpha 3.11. To be in for a chance of winning that, all you need to do is comment on any of my Star Citizen videos made during August 2020. If you want to further support my channel, then consider becoming a YouTube member via the join button. This will also get you some exclusive content and insight each month. Also, if you're looking for a VPN, I shill for NordVPN. It's a mega affordable and effective solution for added security, privacy, and internet accessibility. Follow the link below in the description for a discount. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the verse.